We're here at ITU Telecom World 2016 in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Manabu Kahara, who is the president of NTT Communications Thailand. Mr. Kahara, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much for your uh, invitation, and I'm very grateful to join this event as a Japanese uh, member of the one of the Japanese. Thank you very much. I'd like to start off by asking you, what are the latest ICT technologies and solutions that can help the digital economy grow faster? Okay. Uh, before my answer, I, react, I wish to extend my condolence and the sympathy to royal family and also to all people in Kingdom of Thailand as the Japanese. Okay, uh, moving to my answer for that. We understand digital Thailand policy from the uh, Thai government set up is the following six strategies. First one is hard infrastructure. Second one is the soft infrastructure. Third one is the service infrastructure. Fourth one is the digital economy acceleration. Fifth one is the digital society. And the last one is the digital workforce. What we can do as an entity is the set up quite strong data foundation, so the actual world is data center or cloud in, the, uh, in uh, Thailand. Second one is agile or scalable software defined technology platform. Utilize data analysis services. So one, of course, reliable network with wide coverage and very important with reasonable price, competitive price. Uh, two more. Fourth one is uh, don't forget security. Reliable security service is needed in order to protect all Thai people from any concern or from any worry. And the last one, even in the uh, good technology or good uh, service, is that operation is the most important. I propose that the reliable operation, including enforcement to all Thailand people, is the most important thing. And what is NTT's priority at the moment here in Thailand and in the wider region? Okay, that's, that's a question. Uh, we would like to, uh, first, we would like to follow the digital Thailand policy. And also we would like to follow greater Mekong sub-region uh, policy or strategy, and let's say GMS. That's why uh, we set up the data center in here. And so we, right now we are trying to encourage our local network partner to provide the service, not only Thailand, but also all the Mekong area. That means she area. What kind of partnerships with vertical sectors and other industries are particularly important to you? Okay. In here is a quite important industry. In here is, a, my understanding, is automobile. <laughs> Although for the automobile, it's a quite big. Uh, the reason why automobile is the automobile have a quite great foundation from top to the bottom, that means the parts maker, something like that. That means the total automobile supply chain is already fixed and established in Thailand. And uh, according to them, uh, they are already start, uh, they are already providing the service from Thailand to the all over the world, not only Asia, all over the world. That's why uh, the automobile industry in Thailand is quite important to the all over the world supply chain. That's why uh, first, <coughs> uh, no, first priority of the uh, industry is uh, automobile. And the second one is uh, not only this region, but also the, uh, all over the world, it's almost the same uh, trend. That is the uh, retail, the banking counter or a retail counter or any counterpart to the customer. I believe that uh, the technology AI will help and support to this kind of work with efficiency. And finally, um, what is the value for you of events such as ITU Telecom World? This event is very helpful for us to understand trend of all over the world ICT. And second one, to keep and enhance more better relationship with my partner in all over the world related to the network and ICT. So uh, I'd like to say again, and I appreciate it very much for your kind hospitality. And uh, I'd like to say thank you very much. And I'd like to, I love Thailand and the Mekong area. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. And thanks for being in the studio today. Thank you.